All right, so let's figure out how to solve these problems. If you need, if you're struggling with these, um, first of all, just write down everything you know. So if it says there's a frictional force of 42.1 newtons, that this F, F, F friction, that's that frictional force. So you just type that in, 42.1. That's it. That's all you got to do. If it tells you that the mass of the object is 5.52 kilograms, that's what you type in there where it says M because M stands for mass, 5.52. So you're reading this, you're reading all of these symbols here and you're um, looking for the values, the numbers in your prompt. Now, this is where a lot of students get stopped up. It says force due to gravity, and it doesn't say what the force due to gravity is. That's because we have to calculate it. And it's really easy to calculate force due to gravity. All you have to do is take, is, is to, to, all you have to do to find the force due to gravity is to take the mass of the object and multiply it by 9.8 meters per second squared, or just multiply it by 9.8. It's really that easy. 9.8, we, we often say force due to gravity equals mass times little g. Little g is the acceleration due to gravity. This is the rate at which all objects on Earth fall to the Earth's surface. So every object, if it's in a vacuum, like whether it's a bowling ball or a feather, it will have an acceleration towards Earth at nine, it'll increase its velocity by 9.8 meters per second each second. So each second it's gonna, be get, it's gonna go faster by 9.8 meters per second. That is the acceleration due to gravity. It's, we sometimes just call it little g. We sometimes just call it little g. Sometimes I draw little g on the whiteboard. Here's little g right here. There's little g and remember, it's a constant on Earth Little g is always repping 9.8 meters per second squared. It's a constant. All you have to do is take your mass and multiply it by 9.8. So you could do that on your calculator. What was our mass? Mass was 5.52, so I'm typing 5.52 on my calculator that you can't see, it's off camera, times 9.8, and I get 54.096. See if it'll take that whole thing, 54.96. Oh, no, that's not the acceleration. Clear. That's the force due to gravity. 54.096. Good. These, are, these two, uh, the gravity and the normal force are balanced, 54.096. So they're balanced, so I can just type both of those in there. The net force is whatever force is left over. These are balanced, so they don't count. The net force is the sum of all the forces, so whatever's left over, it's this frictional force which is 42.1, 42.1, good. And then we're just left solving for acceleration. How do we do that? That's super simple as well. We know that the net force is 42.1 newtons. The mass is 5.52 kilograms. To find the acceleration, to find the acceleration, all you have to do is use your equation here. This is Newton's second law. The net force, the net force, um, that's a, this little symbol just means net force, equals your mass times your acceleration. So we know our net force, our net force was 42.1, 42.1 Newtons. And our mass, I'm just looking there, 5.52, our mass was 5. 0.52 kilograms times A, because we're, we have that acceleration there. And then to solve for, you want to isolate that variable. You've heard that before. So you got to use the opposite operation. This is a multiplication symbol, so we got to use divide. You guys have done this all, you've all done this before. 5.52. And then this side cancels out. Whatever you do to one side, you do the other. 42.1 divided by 5.52, 7.63. So I just did a little rounding 
my calculator. I use my calculator to do this, y'all. I didn't just do that in my head. In physics, don't forget your units. This is an acceleration, meters per second squared. 7.63. Let's type it in. Let's see if it works. 7.63. Before I hit enter, I just want you guys to think about how cool this is. If you know the force and you know the mass, you can predict an object's acceleration. It's almost like you can read the future. You can read the future. Let's hit check answers. Oh my gosh, congratulations. It feels good. There you go, guys.